If you are an Himalayan owner, then you must know how to remove this fuel tank. Because if you want to install any accessories like a fog lamp or auxiliary lamp or fuel X Pro, or even you need to access the air filter for maintenance, or you need to access the spark plugs, or even you need to top up the coolant. For all these cases, you need to remove this fuel tank. But the process to remove this fuel tank is not very straightforward. And if you see the owner's manual and go to air filter maintenance section, you will find there are some steps given to remove this fuel tank. But I think those steps are incomplete and you won't be able to remove this fuel tank if you follow those steps. But worry not, in this video, I will show you how to remove this fuel tank in a step-by-step -step process. So welcome to another video on this channel and let's get started. You need to remove both the seats. So detaching this bracket from the fuel tank is optional, but if you detach it, you can use it as a spacer, which I will show you later in this video. Now remove these three bolts in order to detach this bracket from the frame. So once the bolts are removed, lift the tank gently and take the bracket out. Now grab the tank, pull it up and pull it backwards and now you can use the bracket to rest the tank on it well i hope you guys can see these two hoses or pipes you can see we need to disconnect those pipes also we need to disconnect this yellow fuel pipe and there is a connector for the fuel pump which we need to disconnect It's a bit difficult. Okay, now disconnected. You can see the zero taps. There is another one on this side. You need to press both and pull it out. Now you can see this is the fuel pump coupler. You need to remove this. You can see this is the tap. You need to push it and then pull it out. Now you can see, uh, this is the fuel gauge sensor or the fuel sensor, you need to disconnect this. Here is a pro tip, use a plastic tip. If you use some metal to push it out, you may damage the clip. So use a plastic. In my case, I am using a pen profile. So that's it. Now you can grab the tank and remove it from the bike. So now that you have access to the underside of the fuel tank, you can proceed with your task. And in my case, I am going to check the air filter and clean it if required. We will see the air filter in the next video. For now, let's reinstall the fuel tank. To reinstall the tank, simply place the tank in its position. Now connect the fuel sensor, connect the fuel pump connector, connect the fuel pipe and then connect the two hoses which we disconnected earlier. They should look something like this. Now finally push the fuel tank to its final position and attach the bracket. Just connect it, do not tight it yet. We need to position the tank then we will tighten this. Make the final adjustment so that all the holes for the bolts align with each other. Once the tank is in position, now you can tighten the bolts. So these washers are of aluminium. If you over tighten it, they will get damaged. So do not over tighten these bolts. Just make them snug. Now switch on the ignition and see if there are any errors. So this is fine, I don't see any error or warning. So let's start the bike and see. Now install the seats and we are done. So that's all for this video. Hope you liked it and learned something new. 
If that is the case, give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more such content. Here is a playlist where you can watch some other videos related to Himalayan 450. And I will see you soon in another video. Till then, goodbye.